Tonight, we're learning more about the young life cut short by a tragic crash in northeast Fresno. Friends of Amaya Chano remember the 22-year-old for her bubbly personality. Good evening and thanks for joining us live at 6. I'm Dale Yarong. And I'm Vanessa Vasconcelos. The former Yosemite High School student was killed early yesterday morning when a tow truck ran a red light at the intersection of Shepard and Friant. Action News reporter Kate Nemerich spoke to police about the dangerous intersection, about the dangers that it presents, and has more from the victim's loved ones. She was great. She was, she was one of a kind, and I don't think I will ever find a friendship like that. Lupita Salazar says she and Amaya Chano had been friends since high school. Chano was the type of friend that Salazar says was there whenever and however her friends needed. That's the number one thing that Amaya was is she, her love was unconditional with anybody. For other friends, it was a bond born on the softball diamond. I first met Amaya a long time ago in middle school through softball. Angelina McBride played softball with Chanot through high school. She says Chanot was supportive of her friends on and off the field. Uh, absolutely, Amaya would always be smiling. Even if we had lost a game, Amaya would be pumping up her teammates, telling everyone they did an amazing job. Her sudden loss is something her friends are still processing. We had plans on um, hanging out today and going to the movies, watch movies and uh, just being together and that was that was cut short. The Fry and Shepherd intersection where Chano died is one Fresno police are well aware of. Police Chief Paco Balderrama says it's probably one of the most driven stretches of road in the city, making it more prone to accidents. He broke down some of the incidents they've seen there since January 2022. We've had 15 collisions, uh, one fatality accident, um, as you know, six injury accidents, and we've also had eight non-injury accidents. Valderrama says his officers patrol that area heavily, but they need drivers to pay attention on the roads. I mean, terribly sad situation, and it, it happened because somebody disregarded a traffic control device. The uh, tragedy that happened this week is is ju just that, a tragedy. You know, that individual should not should not have died. Kate Nemrich, ABC 30 Action News.